Hey little bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope it's the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a long time or even for a while and have not already dropped a line, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if the video just gives you a good vibe that you can truly appreciate it, you know, it was very insightful for you and you um, and you are welcome to please, you know, go ahead and share. You never know. Somebody may be able to, you know, um, get that insight and be informative, you know, be informative for them as well. And they can truly appreciate or even more. But um, the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, oh, because you're getting the aha moments. They're giving explosive clarity when it used to be chaotic and confusing. Lord, when I was just doing my other video, oh my God, <laughs> you all feel the same way. And now it's like, aha, it's all about how you choose to approach different things, you know. Because um, a lot of times, if you, like me, if you're a numbers girl, uh you you um there's a lot of times that you'll be able to you know you'll get the number where it's telling you hey you know we're, we're appreciating we're commending you for your efforts on doing things but now it's time for you to upgrade and step up doing your work differently you know and there'll be sometimes it's just like i'm going through this going through this transition where i'm taking everything in like soaking it up like a sponge and like yes i like that like i can hear somebody um i'm um, doing a video or i can hear something that um I may came, come across on, on somebody's post or account on the social media platform. I'm like, oh, that's deep. Let me go ahead and write it down. Let me make sure I give a quote, you know, on who I got it from, you know, because I don't ever want to take somebody's stuff and say, oh, I heard somebody say this and give them that props out today. Whether if they hear it or not, you know, I always try to make sure I credit the, you know, the author that came up with that, you know, and like, yeah, somebody said such and such and such and such. And, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you'll hear me say that. You know, I heard such and such say that. And um, and it really made me want to spin off of that and, and do a whole content about just that, that saying. Where I could be just talking to myself. We do that a lot. And I'll come, I'm like, ooh, let me go ahead and write that down. Even when I be having videos and I be doing, I'm like, hold up, y'all. I apologize. Let me go ahead and write that down. And I love doing that. And you're going through those aha moments. It's like when you're going through that major transition into your life. Hold on, y'all. I'm get my tea out of the microwave. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I apologize. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get my tea out of the microwave. Um, and you're going through the, oh, the aha moments when things are just so confusing and, and it's like a cluster you know or it's just frustrating a lot of times you can be all over the place and you're overwhelmed or you're, you're doing too many things at one time and it's like hey you know especially like me if you own CD especially if you clean your house you can be wiping off something you see you know especially you know I got cats so I'm just like Ugh, I got fur somewhere then I'll stop doing this and forget all about this and go over there and then it'll be like something else I got to pick up and then I'll go that way my girl if you just don't go from the kitchen whatever you need to clean in the kitchen then go in the dining room go in the you know in the in the dining room and then go from the living room and then go all the way back and work yourself back you know because right now it's like even when it when they're telling you hey we're going through the 222 portal or you're going through the the mercury of pluto or you're going through uranus of jupiter you know all or it's a full, full moon of wolf you know crazy whatever you know anytime i get full full moon it impacts it just do something to us anyway it's just like shoot you a vampire we want to be a vampire you gonna be a lichen or you gonna uh, uh, be a lycanthorpe or you gonna be you know a, 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 a biter whatever they want to call them you know and go through those things i'm like shoot i'm, I'm, I'm going for the twilight issue i want to go for the un, uh for the underworld because I, I don't want to be you know because i'll be looking at the werewolves i was like y'all look big and scary and i really like the wolfy thing but when y'all legs start going broke black paper clips that's just certain things i can't deal with because that must look painful i'm good i want to do all that i said let me just i ate. i like sleeping in the day you know, I, I'll be on a special diet. You know, I can probably glitter or, you know, fly or something like that. And, you know, I can heal fast. I, I really like those. You know, those, those are great, great alternatives. <laughs> it's like I'll take those side effects. But, you know, um, it's all about how you choose to do it because it, it's like, you know, like if you get up today and like, ugh, 
I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. Now, I forgot what his name. Kevin Gates. He said, you have to stop doing that. When you putting that negative vibe on it, it's going to make it feel like it's forced. You're not going to want to do it. You're not going to be very enthusiastic about it. And then he was just like, when you say, hey, I get a chance to do this. And I was like, dang, you know, that's pretty good. Because when you know, I said, let me go ahead and see if this is good. You know, and then I'll say, okay, yeah, this, this, I get a chance to do this. And it's giving your vibrations that excitement, you know, to do that. And it's all about how you're choosing your words. You're being very mindful. You're being, uh, uh, what do they say, being mindful and being discerning about the words you're using when it when it's come to doing different changes in your life. Because a lot of times, like I've said before, and you even know, change is not always fun. But when it's when you when you're allowing yourself to know it's time for me to get serious, it's time for me to be aggressive with what I want. If I want, uh, you know, new opportunities coming into my life, if I want prosperity and abundance coming in my life, I gotta start talking blessed. I gotta start moving like I'm blessed. I need to start thinking like I'm blessed. Like, yeah, I may not be where I'm at now. Like, I ain't where I want to be at now. No. I'm making the changes in my life to where God is placing me because you don't know where you're going. You can have it this way and then it's something totally, it can be totally out there like, oh my God. Because you you know, if you see posts, like if you're on different social media sites or you know, you're on Facebook, you're on Twitter, you're on um, Snapchat, you're on TikTok, you're on um, Instagram and stuff like that. They'll tell you, even if you, if you understand the reason why, if you understand the magnitude of the blessings you got coming, you will understand why the enemy's on you like that. Or you can understand, oh, when blessings come in your way, that's when the devil starts, start distracting you. Different stuff like that. Then you'll understand why, oh, you know, let me start allowing myself to be open towards being more positive about the things that I'm going through because if you keep looking at oh you know I'm trying to get to positivity but now my money ain't coming in or I gotta still be dealing around with this karmic cycle or this and this and that and it's just like it's all about how you're choosing to look at it you're creating chaotic vibrations for yourself just how you're looking at it just how you're presenting it to yourself just how you're saying it you didn't put it out to the universe. You are you always here all the time. Universe doesn't see things from bad and good. It's just giving you the energy that you put out. You know, whatever you're putting out is what you get back. You know, and it is just like that that's why you're learning, hey, treat people how you want to be treated. Be careful how you say you know things about others that's making you mad thinking about what you're wishing for yourself and what you're wishing for other people be careful about how you see yourself how you see the world don't be judgmental towards yourself and towards others you're being judgmental towards towards others you're pointing one finger and three pointing back at you if you're saying something about somebody else this is what you're saying about yourself you know and you're going through those things you're seeing where the confusion started at and sometimes even if you don't understand where the confusion is you're being accepted to the point where I just don't understand where it's coming but let me get my mind straight because I'm not trying to be stuck in that situation anymore and universe is like aha now you're learning now you're understanding now you're getting to that mind where you're shaping your mind in a totally different thing and this is where you know universe your ancestors your, your, your family don't pass over your guides you know are are you know, our, our, all our higher power, our spiritual, you know, our spiritual enforcements is giving you kudos, kudos for that. Because now you're starting to catch on to what's going on. And sometimes we can get like, damn, that's what they've been trying to tell me this whole time. Yeah. But, it, you know, it's better late than never. So don't, don't, don't get on yourself. Because it'll be sometimes like, I feel kind of stupid right now. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. But it's just like, hey, it's okay. A lot of times it's going to take you to have to repeat a certain cycle for you to get the gist of what they're telling you. A lot of times it's going to have to really step back for you to be able to see the whole picture. Instead of looking at it in the negative you know, situation or saying I'm tired of going through this, I'm tired of going through that. But are you making the, chance, you know, you're making the changes in your life for you not to continue to go through that? Or are you allowing yourself to just stay quiet even when you write? A lot of times you got to just stay quiet. You know, when you're happy and you got new things going on into your life, but it's not set in stone, you keep it to yourself. Move in silence. You know, I always tell you, be quiet, move in silence. 
you know and it is just like you're going through this change and it's good to go through changes at time it can be frustrating going through changes but it's just like when you're allowing yourself to really go through that that vibration of transition and even if you can you can get frustrated at time okay like i said there are gonna be days you're gonna get frustrated especially when especially when you've been doing things at a certain vibration a certain frequency for so long at that certain level and it's like hey you know new level different devils you going it's just like if you you know you playing game you know you playing on the video games you playing on the computer games you, you it's gonna be boring as I don't know what if you're going on different levels and all of it's the same thing you know you gotta skip you gotta do a it's like hey how do I do this a a b back go space space back you know it means all them different things you know how y'all be getting on there it made me go back to that movie staying alive it's like hey how you see the girl naked it's like double 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 space back a b a left right a you know I'm like You've been doing this way too much and, and something wrong with you. You need a girlfriend. You need a toy. You need, you know, you need something, you know. But it, it's just like you're going through those aha moments of getting that explosive clarity. And it gets you excited. You're like, girl, I'm on a roll here. You know, because I love when I be having these one-on-one with y'all. And you're like, Rosalind, I'm really going through it. And I said, just calm it. Just calm down. You know, and it's good because sometimes we both be going through it at the same time and we'll both be talking. And I'm just like, and then we'll, we'll end up saying something and it's like, wait a minute. I'm like, what did you just say? It's like, oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Repeat it again. Repeat it again. And it was like, I'm like, oh, that's what that was. Or somebody can say something to you and you, you know, because if you all up in your feelings right now, that answer can get, just come clean off your head and you just ain't focused on it. Like, stop spazzing. Take a pause for the calls. What did you just say? <laughs> like, what did you just say? And going about that. And they're telling you, you're getting the aha moments. You're starting to get that clarity. Because you got to think about it. If you've been going through this for a year, two years three years and I'm not saying for the people who've been going through it for months it ain't big deals too because it all depends on what your situation and circumstances is like Rosalind what you trying to say what I'm going through for the last few weeks or the last few months and the last few minutes and days ain't important no I ain't say that I'm just saying if you've been going through this repetitively you've been going through a long sense of time let me just say that because I'm not trying to get you know I ain't poking your bear you probably your bear has already been probably poked anyway even though I know that sound nasty anyway but you know what I'm saying get your mind out the gutter you know you're going through something right now and you're a little bit touchy you're a little bit sensitive you know and it's okay we you know we empaths we get sensitive in certain places you know and you're going through that but you're going through that huge change there's going to be times where you get epiphanies or there'll be times like I've said before you get it, there'll be if you you know you're not a TV person and you a YouTuber or you're watching Tubi you know certain things will come on like I've been having to shut my phone off I'm like if I see another shooter if I hear another this when I tell you I'm so tired of hearing about all that stuff and rest in peace to Gilbert Godfrey he used to I used to really love him I'm like why does all the time he used to look like he's constipated or you know, or he's just really frustrated because he always talked like that. It's, it's like, damn, did you just talk on a lemon or, or a prune or something like that before you started talking? I just really want to understand. But rest in peace to him. I know he died like a day or two ago, and I really want to give him his props for that. But you know, you're going through all those different things. I know that's random, but y'all got to work with me. You know, you got to pay attention, keep up. You know, ADD. I'll switch it. I'll flip the script with you real quick. Um, and you're going through those different moments. You know, you're seeing the chaos. You're seeing the frustration. Because a lot of times you just don't know. You're adding that towards yourself. You're adding, you know, even if you're going through something frustrating. And it can be frustrating. You know, you're going through some frustrating things. And sometimes when, when you're really dealing with it and you in your head, you start adding on more stuff to it. You already know what I'm talking about. It'll be an avalanche. It'll be a ripple effect. Sometimes you got to say, you know what? Let me just take a pause for a minute because I'm, I'm getting a little bit too personal and too tied up to something I have no control over right now. Let me step back. And when you're doing that, when you're doing it, just like I tell y'all, there will be some times I'll be, uh, uh, I'll be guided to do a video and I may not like the energy I projected. Or I might say something. I'm like, I don't like the way I said it. Let me do it. There will be some times I got to do a video like two, three times. And I'd be frustrated about it. But then I'll give myself that high five. Like, girl, give it to you. You know, give me your own chest bump. You know what I'm saying? And be out there like that. It's like, but you're allowing yourself to be your corrective, using corrective criticism with yourself. That means you and your, you 
are, are vibing with your higher self. You're becoming that new person. You're trusting that process because that's what we're going through right now. You're fighting the old from the new. Because I always, you know, I have to remind myself, I'm not fighting the world. You know, even though it may feel like that, we're not fighting the world. You are fighting that old part of yourself, that old paradigm, that old thought, that old frequency. With that new one that's trying to say, hey, I'm here. We're ready to jazz. We're ready to... You know, let's soak up, let's vibe together. You've been looking like, look, you you've been on that that vibe you've been smoking something. You you on that 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 uh volume or something, volume or something like that because you a little bit too love and lightish, you know, and it's like, okay, well, you know, I gotta be. This is where I'm trying to get you to be. You're like, ugh. Okay, it's like see this is the problem. But now you at that time where you see in the aha see your your new self is it is dissolving that old self. The ego is leaving. You're 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 allowing yourself to l not limit yourself, but you raising the bar to your own progress. Universe is saying that, like you know what? I'm proud of you. We knew you had it in you. We needed you to see that, because a lot you know a lot. You have to understand. Not a lot of time. I had to stop myself from saying that. God sees our true potential, our whole potential, and a lot of times we don't understand the experiences, the life lessons, what we face, what we didn't face, what we allowed ourselves to see, what we should have let go, what we should have went towards, and stuff like this is giving you that experience to show you where your true potential is, where your power lies. Everything is leading you back to you you know and that is truly a blessing you know you're going through those changes is not easy but when you're allowing yourself to see that change you're recognizing it and it's not easy to do but when you're allowing yourself to be in that that space not saying safe space space because it's good to be safe at certain times but when you're allowing yourself to be at that time like man I'm proud of myself. I'm feeling my heart open. And sometimes you can get even emotional about that. Because sometimes you can be in a rut. And it's, you know, it's normal for you to get soaked up in what's going on at that time. You know, you still trying to heal on things. You still thinking about what you should have, could have did. Or what you should have got. Or that feeling like there was a missed opportunity. Or somebody blocked me from this. Or somebody robbed me of that. Or this person cheated on me. Or I should have had my husband. I should have had my kingdom wife. I should have had my, my twin flame. This and this and that. You can get soaked up in what everything is going on. That distraction. That's an illusion. When you can say, you know what? It may, I may not have been ready for that that kingdom husband at that time because I was still a whole hot mess. I may not have been ready for that kingdom wife right now because I was a whole hot mess. I was not allowing myself to go through the changes. I wasn't allowing myself to let go and just accept and you know and just allow myself to know that rejection was for my own protection. That was something that was not deserving of me. That's something that I couldn't. I shouldn't allow myself to keep going down that road. I had to be able to say people didn't turn their back on me. It's just that that experience of that excess of that time up that pattern of me, that level of me, that frequent, you know, fre frequency of me, that vibration of me has ended. So now God has turned my 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 course onto something else. That person is expired in my life. That vibration has expired in my life. That view has expired in my life. Yes, it can get scary, but I'm not allowing myself to fall back in what that old routine is. I'm allowing myself to say, yes, it's going to get uncomfortable, but if it was meant to be, it'll be. When God is taking something back and close that door, don't go back holding your foot in that door. Take it out. You know, close, let that door close. He's trying to open another one and you wonder why you ain't got it because you still holding that door open for that opportunity, hoping that that situation to change. No, it changed you. See what, what was telling you in that situation. Stop holding on to something that universe is trying to tear out your life. You know, be praying for something. Like I want to pray to keep this situation, you know, getting better. Or I want to pray to keep this relationship on a float. When God's saying, universe is saying that that situation is no more. That relationship is no more. That friend connection is no more. That family connection is no more. You know, that 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 door of that path is no more. And when you're seeing it is that like, okay, 
that was my experience I appreciate the lesson I appreciate the people that were in it I appreciate the people that are still there you know that they, they believe in me they're not having any in, hidden intentions or any you know deception or any motive or anything to gain they want to see me progress because they're progressing and they love that feeling and they're trying to encourage me to do that too you know they're not you know holding the door open me or waiting but we're on that journey and if it's meant to be we're gonna meet back up again we gonna I'm gonna see you soon you know or maybe it's lonely right now maybe because I don't have the people in my life that's on that vibration of me anymore I'm moving into a new vibration yes it's lonely but at least I can this is that time for me to focus on myself aha moment I'm allowing to see what myself what I can no longer be then I'm opening the door to a new possibility, a new reality, a new perception of myself. You know, being open to what I thought, you know, universe and God has got me on. But they're opening up, new, you know, a new thing for me to see, you know, to speak better, to hear better. Allowing myself to understand I can add two or three more things to it. But be confident in myself, even if I can't do it all at one time. Be able to know that universe and God... You know, and all my spiritual enforcements is holding me up. This going to give me that support that I need. And that's when when you're allowing yourself, you're going to start. You, then you all of a sudden start seeing this more smooth sailing. Even though it's not going to be smooth sailing all the time, you're eliminating the excess drama that you don't need in your life. You're you're saying because it'll be sometimes I look like girl, you were just doing way too much, you know. And I'll tell myself that, and I'll laugh like, girl, you remember? Yes, you know. But I appreciate it and stop looking at it like a negative, you know, or even allow myself to be like, girl, you remember this and this and this and that and you said this and that. Mm -mm. Just remember how that was. Yes, but I'm no longer there. Yes, thank God. And I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And that's that. That's what you're doing. You're getting that when you can look at your past and say, I've learned so much from that person I was then. I'm not allowing myself to be angry of what I did or I didn't do or I should have or I didn't, you know, I wouldn't do. I, di I didn't have that insight that I had, I have right now. I didn't have that back then. I didn't have the willpower I have now that I had back then. I didn't see what open source bar I have with the universe and in my spirit guides and my guides and my, my you know, my universal cosmos of enforcements that I didn't know that was there. I always felt like I was alone. Even I was just lonely. I wasn't alone. I was just lonely. I didn't know what path I was on. I was always confused. I felt lost. I, I felt like, you know, I was punished. But this was like I'm going through a change that I never expected. I'm becoming a person I didn't know I could be. You know, I'm finally understanding what a warrior truly is. I'm allowing myself to see even if things were taken from me, it prepared me for something greater. You just don't know what universe is preparing you for. Yeah, it could be a lot of things you've you gone through and there was a sore spot for you. You know, and it's okay, but you have to, you know, get out that, that, that vibration. You ain't, they, they always tell you, don't touch that no more. You know, because a lot of times, I ain't even going to say that. There's a lot of times where that's why I end up building up that that vibration of being angry, setting on a tone of where I'm about to commit a charge. You know, this and this and that. No, get out of that. You know, that's what the devil wants you to stay on. Stay on, on your feelings. Stay on what people did to you. Stay on what they're continuing to do. Now it's just like... I can't, you know, I, I, I appreciate and trust God knowing he protected me. I just still need to know the devil there doing all his whatever, whatever, whatever. But let me just stay focused on what I'm trying to commit to right now. I ain't trying to commit to what he got going on. I'm trying to commit to where God is trying to guide me at. Where universe has got me at. I'm trying to be open to my gifts. I'm trying to be open to that resource of source. You know, I'm trying to open, you, you know, open up to be a creation of with connection of creator and that's what you're doing you're going through that moment of being being able to see the clarity through that confusion you already get the clearness through the chaos through the cloudiness you know and a lot of times you know you're going to go through moments to where you just don't get it that's okay you know you're going to have moments where it feels like i have a lot going on and that's okay because there's moments that it's going to be like that. I've been like that. You know, there's times I made videos when I was on 10, you know, and just really pissed off because Universe said, I need you to be vulnerable. 
and make videos when you're like that. I'm like, I don't want to project that out to anybody. My misery don't need comedy. I don't want nobody RVSP that. No. Y'all almost went to RVSP. The respect song from Aretha. Aretha. Can't even talk and spell it. They got that. But, you know, I'm not, I don't want nobody RV, RV, RVSP that. You know, I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. There's some people that's out there that just like that. You know, misery loves company. I'm like, no, I don't need no company for that. Shoot, I'm already trying to get away from myself on that one. You know, I don't like going to that party. You know, pity party is not. It, no, it, no, uh, no. I be petty with it right now. I'm like, girl, please, no. You know, I say, I'll live. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I ain't even do it. Tom Petty, Nikki Petty, no, 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 no. And I'm not saying they petty at all, but I just love the fact that their last name is Petty. It's like, shoot, if I get petty, I'm like, shoot, my name is Nikki Petty. I can be petty all the hell I want to, you know, and be like that. But, you know, you, you're getting to that aha moment, you know, and it's, it's good, you know, congratulate yourself, you know, because you're coming out of that funk. You're coming out of that receptive, repetitive you know, situation, it, it, sometimes they're hard to get out of, but there's times where you catch yourself, you know, reminiscing about what somebody done to you or what you did do to somebody else. Get out of that. Come back from the light, Caroline. Uh-uh. Come back. You, you know, it's like, they're here. Close it out. <laughs> they don't like all the guys. One, two, three, and four. No, close the door. They're here. Okay, well, shoot. You better act like it's a bill collector and don't answer it. You know, and going about that business because you are going towards something that's deserving. You are closing the door on all that excess drama, that chaos, that your mind, that vibration wanted you to be stuck in. This is, you're opening doors for endless possibilities. You're expecting the unexpected. You're being leaded towards something that you never imagined. You keep doing that because you deserve that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. I truly, truly appreciate it. I mean, I'm really loving the content that I'm doing right now. I know it would be irritating. Like, girl, why you got to be so like that? I love it. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. It don't matter. You know, it don't matter. But I love If you, the fact is you trying to get there, this is just showing you the proof you can get there. Because it took me a long time to get there and actually, you know, feel that. You know, even when I shut the video down, I can feel it. Because there's sometimes I was doing the videos and Universe had me saying that, but I just didn't feel it. And I ain't going to even lie about that. I tell y'all, I'm very transparent. You know, I'm going through my worth of learning. You know, and you when you can be very transparent about that and be honest about it, because that's what people can relate to is just showing you have hiccups in your life. You really do. And you can have some where, oh, yeah, girl, I, for, I forgive and forget about that. And then you think you're doing it, you know, because, they, they'll, you know, if you stay on, you know, I'll go through everything aligns and like the Twin Flame, you know, uh, channels and stuff like that. Because I be, could be going through something, you know, like, Lord, what kind of changes are we going through? Is it going to be in Uranus today or is it going to be in the chaos, the co confusion of cosmic cosmic law? You know, what I mean? something like that. Let me go. In. I'm like, oh, Lord. Yeah. We're going three and a possible on the retrograde. And there ain't no retrograde in the retrograde. So, um, you know, going through all those different things. You know, so you have to be congratulating to yourself. You, you know, you're going through stuff. You know, you're seeing, yeah, it may be hard to forgive. But it's just the fact is, if you want to be able to go somewhere, there are certain things you got to close that door on. Even if somebody didn't apologize to you, just say, okay, I I'm still going to do me. You know what I'm saying? And still wish them well. Either if somebody stabbed you in the back or just walked away from you, just didn't give you no warning, that was God closing the door on that anyway. Because sometimes he'll close that door before because you wouldn't close that door. He'll kill the situation for the situation killed you. he take you out of that, that crowd because your tribe is totally different. You know, and these are all about changes, you know, beginnings and endings, you know, recurring and reoccurring. You know, the left from right. You know, the begin the end from the beginning. You know, you, you open it up extraordinary measures and that's something really beautiful to deal with. Even if it's one little step. You know, that one little that one little adjustment you're doing in your life and you keep doing that, it's gonna it's gonna ignite something very big. You're gonna knock something out the frame with yourself and you didn't even realize because a lot of times when you keep adding towards to yourself and you keep being busy because a lot of times if we don't stay busy our minds start going towards things that's out of our control and that's when you get into that depression that's when you're allowing yourself to go right back into that pattern again when you're allowing yourself to be progressive 
and keep it moving even if there are sometimes you get frustrated and you just step back and just breathe a little bit and say okay universe you know i'm ready now okay no problem they working with you because when you allow yourself to work with the universe universe work for you if you put everything in god's hands it's going to show you everything is coming from god's hands so i hope you were able to resonate with that i want to give a post notification shout out to Ava wright much love to you as well uh coco riley much love to you um uh kelly r much love to you and um let me see who else i have not called out in a minute and cynthia skarsinski i hope i pronounced your last name right if i didn't i apologize i didn't mean to do that but anyways i hope you have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for everything you're doing whatever you're manifesting into your life even if it feel like it's slow or it's just like lord it ain't gonna never come get that out your mind you don't know what universe and god and your answers they done chose you for a reason and when you've been going through it, be, be going through it to go through it. Oh, trust me, they're getting something put together for you. Believe in the BTS behind the scenes. You don't know what's going on. So stay persistent, stay consistent. If you need to take a pause, you take a pause. But you, if, if you don't fell off that, that horse, you better gladly get back on it and hold on to the reins. If you even got to hold on to the horse hair and the god on ears, go ahead and do that. And just hold on, you know, and just keep it moving. Because there's good things coming for you. It's going to be right when you least expect it. They always tell you it's right around the corner. you be like, where the heck is that corner at? Is it in the same dimension? Or is it in the same time zone? Where is it around? Ah, uh, you know, psych, just, you know, don't be doing that. But I'm just saying, it's around the corner. So, much love to you. I'll leave, as always, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. Being able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. Even if you're trying to understand what's going on with your life or what is it leading to or, you know, there's new things that's coming towards your way that is really, truly freaking you out. You know, I always tell people I'm never judgmental or try to make you feel small or stupid because of the things you're going on. Because there's a lot of things that goes on around our life and like, man, I don't want her thinking I'm crazy or this and this and that. You have to understand some of the stuff is out there that we go through is very out there. You know, there'll be some prizes, but I'm like, you know what? Hey. I'm going with a Hayoka, I'm never surprised. So, you know, go ahead and share with me, you know, whatever is going on, you know, giving you a deeper understanding about your purpose, being able to share with me. Like I said, I love my purpose. I love the fact is to let you know we're all going through things. We're all trying to get a clear view vision of a new vision. So, you know, it's not going to be easy to do that, but just knowing you're not alone. So, you know, go ahead and get in touch with me. Even if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, I always leave my cash app is there as well. And I hope you have a blessed weekend. Please be responsible and safe in all you're doing. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, wide frequencies. You just never know. All those things can really take someone a long way. And just for you taking your time out to do that, it takes you even further. So I'll see you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.